Great Bear Island. Abandoned, wild, inhospitable. A land of stark beauty, especially its famous waterfalls. You must survey every waterfall on Great Bear Island, from the smallest trickle to the largest roaring giant. Hey everyone, this is Jim and welcome back to the Long Dark Waterfalls, our little waterfalls challenge. <gasps> we're leaving food, it is the morning and we're leaving food. Maybe I should eat some of it right now. No, let's go. <laughs> let us go, let us move on. Ah, uh, we are in now. Pleasant Valley. Oh, it's not too bad either. Still calm, bit overcast, but at least it's reasonably pleasant. <laughs> Pleasant Valley for once kind of living up to its name. Very good. Oh, very good. Very good. Okay. All right. Good. Moving on. So, yes, we finished up in the mine there. Cinder Hills Coal Mine at the end of last episode. I think it was uh, late afternoon, early evening. Uh, so I did spend the night there and uh, left some food. <laughs> Started reading one of the sewing books that we've got. Yeah, it's got to get that, that old sewing skill up to, up to scratch. Oh, but I did notice something. I did notice something. I was about to um, harvest these, but they're in fact better than these worn fleece mittens that we're wearing. 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. I mean, they're not, they're no, no water proofedness at all, even though they're leather, but they've probably got lots of holes in them. But they're warmer. <laughs> so we'll put them on. There we go. Oh, and, and then, and then we will just, uh, hang on. We will ditch these very heavy, like 0.1 kilos. Drop. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Jeez, I mean, when, watching back some of these videos, when we do these little challenges and, and uh, you know, our own little custom challenges, all the tales and things, I get quite brutal and quite messy with the inventory. But if I was playing a normal survival, well, normal, I say normal, but if I was playing, you know, without, without making a video of it, I'm a lot more... I clean up a lot more after myself and I sort stuff out and things and hoard a lot more than I do in these particular series. So there you go. <laughs> well, maybe I don't. I don't know. Mm. Having said that, I'm not playing The Long Dark uh, uh, otherwise, other than this series at the moment. Uh, which is fine. Which is all fine. Yes, we are going to see one waterfall here in Pleasant Valley. There's quite a few, actually. Thinking, uh, thinking about it, there's quite a lot of waterfalls here in Pleasant. Uh, but we're sort of, we're making a bit of a, a beeline-ish to Ash Canyon. Uh, that is our next sort of major destination. So we're going to just leave most of the waterfalls, except for one. We'll see one on our way uh, up this way. Yeah, there's one I'd like to look at. And I, uh, yeah, try, as we discussed last episode, the, the path or the route or the route that we're taking. Um, yes, I think getting, getting the waterfall that we're going to go to on our way will be good to sort of uh, tick off, given we're practically going past it. Hello, Wolfie. How you doing over there? I should have lit a torch. Oh, did we get him? Might have got him. Did we get your wolf? Did we? We did. Okay, good. <laughs> so cruel to the wolves. But they just want to eat us. So we kind of have to be cr cruel to the wolves. Isn't that peaceful? After like the first half of last episode where it was blowing a gale. And it was really loud and really windy. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. Yeah, I just keep keep an eye out. I think I'm occasionally getting another little laggy spiky. Um, it's not it's not the long dark doing it. I think it's something on my computer. I've 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 turned off you know I've, I've exited the browser and exited Discord and things just to see if anything's kind of you know playing with my computer. Well, anyway, we'll we'll see we'll see. That's all technical stuff. Or maybe I just need to you know reboot the router. Why is it? That these router companies who make modems and routers and things, they've sold millions upon millions of them around the world. Why is it we still need to turn them off and turn them on again every couple of weeks? <laughs> do you have to do that with your router and modem and stuff at home? TP-Link and Netgear and all these people who are supposed to make these, these companies that make these things that are just everywhere. They still can't make a router that we have to, that we don't have to manually turn off and then turn on again. <laughs> <laughs> it's hopeless. Oh dear. Okay, there's a there's a road out that way, but no waterfalls that way, so we don't need to go that way. I wonder where that way goes. Mmm. Yeah, if we bring up our map again, we've been looking at the map quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Pleasant Valley. So the road, we're sort of 
here-ish, and the road would be sort of over this way a bit. There's nothing here at the moment. Nothing yet. Oh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe Perseverance Mills will be there. <laughs> that place that they mentioned in the first chapter of the story mode, which is the only chapter I've ever played, but yes, they still haven't added that in. I gather that'll be part of chapter five of the story mode whenever they add that in, which probably won't be for some time yet, given they're more working on the expansion, which I'm happy with. I'm all cool with that. <laughs> Yes, so they could go to Perseverance Mills, wherever that's going to be, or whatever's going to be in it one day, which would be very cool. Yes, but yes, do you have to reboot your router every couple of weeks? I do, because, uh, you know, suddenly the upload speeds kind of crawl and things seem to time out, and you just got to turn it off, turn it on again. You, can, you have to actually power cycle it to get it to play nice again. I mean, what is all that about? <laughs> I suppose because these companies make millions upon millions of them, they're kind of an essential thing nowadays for us, that we're all going to buy them regardless of how, you know, crap they are. <laughs> so they don't bother putting any effort into, you know, making them robust. You yeah, just turn it off and turn it on again, mate. That'll fix it. It's, it's terrible, isn't it? <laughs> it's a bit sad, really. Or maybe I'm just being cynical. Mate, I think I missed ya. Oh, are we still coming? Oh, wow, this guy was... This guy was... Oh. Okay. That guy was one of the guys who wasn't scared of the bullets. <laughs> Blood loss and infection risk. Well, that may well be our first wolf attack for the series. In, in episode 5, that's, that's pretty good. Well, it's pretty lucky, let's let's face it. Invection risk on my right arm. Did he tear our clothing or anything? I mean, some of our clothing wasn't wonderful anyway. Ah, oh, little bugger. <laughs> Should have lit a torch, shouldn't I? Uh, some of them are a bit low anyway, so I can't really... If we do low to high. So I don't even know if he's hurt anything. Mucklugs, they are about that anyway. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, well. <laughs> do I have a torch? Let's light a torch. I think I've got just the one torch. Well, we'll pull the torch out. We won't light it yet, but we'll light it as if a wolf appears. Ah, dang wolves. <laughs> dang wolves, yeah, three shots. And, oh, he's He was determined to eat us, wasn't he? Derelict cabins. Derelict cabins. Oh, there's a cooking pot. We'll leave. We've already got one. Don't think we need another. Another knife. We've found a few knives, That'll haven't come we? in handy. 78%. Uh, small arms fireable. High handbook. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to take that one. Maybe we should... Maybe if we were a better shot, it would uh, it would scare that, the wolves off better. <laughs> no, I think just some of the wolves are just... They're just not scared of anything. They're just going to attack you regardless. Uh, a bit of wood? No. Actually, it might... Oh, speaking of... Oh, let's light it. Speaking of the troublemakers, I'm going to get this, because we might make a fire to make more torches, because this might be the only torch we've got. Here he comes. Here he comes. Oh, no, he stopped. Oh, oh are you limping? Oh, he's limping. I might be a bit hard to see. He's, he's, one, he's one of his front paws he's not really walking on. So he might be the guy that attacked us before. Yeah, oh, it's, I hope you can see it. It's a bit hard to see on the video, I know, but he's definitely limping. Look at him. He, you see, he's got that front paw up. Mate, you're, you're just... You're just asking for trouble coming after us. You're already wounded. Don't... Just leave us. We'll leave you. You leave us. He's, he's determined. He's, he's limping along there, the poor little fella. <laughs> poor fella. Pfft. Poor us. Silly wolf. I think we're going to have to deal with the wolf. Silly wolf. Silly, silly, silly wolf. Yeah, he, oh, he's running now. Oh, he's, he's not letting a, uh, he's not letting a sore paw. Look, he's, mate, you're just gonna go away. Off you go. Oh, oh there's another one right there. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, good. See, I should be careful because I think it was my second attempt at the faithful cartographer. When I'd been alive for 60-something days and I'd mapped quite a few areas, uh, I got attacked by a wolf over there and then sort of realised I didn't have enough meds and sort of ran over there a bit and got attacked by another wolf and died. And died. I was like 60-something days into the into sort of doing the faithful cartographer 
achievement and and die just just like that it was just a regular old stalker run much like this and uh, got it double wolfed <laughs> and double wolfed dead oh dear yes so just don't get too complacent yes be careful of the wolves having said that I might can we haven't got any more torches do oh okay. uh, we, we just double check that no this is the only one we've got oh. I might just put it out, in case we have to light it again. Oh, I've got flares, I suppose. Ah, oh, too late. <laughs> we don't have to worry about min-maxing the matches or anything, because we've got so many already. Okay, now sometimes there might be a bear around here too, so just, again, don't be... Don't be too... complacent. <laughs> the snow seems to be coming in a bit. Uh, I keep an eye on the cliffs too, because for waterfalls. I think I know where they all are in Pleasant, all the waterfalls. Um, but still, it's, it's good to sort of keep an eye out for them, just in case. Just in case there's one that we miss. Because there are a couple of areas that I'm not 100% certain on the locations of all the waterfalls. So, uh, yeah, just something to keep in mind. There is a cave in there. Is it bear cave this time, or is it just a cave cave? Should we have a look? Let me go for a jog, mate. Have a look. Uh, let's hope there's no bear. There, there was a there was a dead deer. Just just we ran past. Uh, no, 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 good. Okay, cool. Is there anything at all in here? Uh, that's a no. <laughs> we didn't need to come here at all. Oh well, we warmed up briefly. Well, we're still warming up out here, actually. I think are we, or is our temperature? Oh no, temperature is going down a little bit. A little bit. Poor little deer. Oh dear. One one kilo of meat, no good. No good, dear, but we've got plenty of food anyway, so we're all good. Oh, yeah, all good, yes. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, not great, the weather. <laughs> so no more news from uh, Hinterland, no news this week. Oh, there, there was, I saw there was Factorio news this morning. If you're a Factorio player. Uh, they discuss what the expansion is going to be. It's still a year away, but it's going to be Factorio in space, which is very cool. Um, I think the mo thing I was most excited about, though, is they're bringing back their weekly Friday Factorio facts. That's, that's certainly something to keep your... Like, if you're a game, mate, game development company, keep your fans engaged is to bring out a regular, you know, a regular blog um, to discuss things about your game. <laughs> and Factorio did that for years and years and years, and then they sort of stopped uh, once they sort of finally released the game officially, uh, out of early access and everything. We're going up that river, because there's going to be a waterfall up there. Uh, and there is a waterfall down there, but we're not going to that one. We're going to go to this one, and so we'll go along the river. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be able to map it if the weather sets in like this. Can I get down to the river safely? <laughs> Is that possible from this side? Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, yes. So yes, um, they're bringing back their weekly blog on... Because the Factorio one's good. Because they go into some of the technical stuff sometimes and, and the decisions they have to make. Uh, gameplay decisions and all that, so it's really quite interesting, and it'd be good if more more game companies did it. <laughs> like Hinterland, yes, they do sometimes bring out one, but they don't do it regularly. They sometimes have their dev diaries, but they're, they're not necessarily monthly, even though they'll say like it's a July dev diary or something. And they don't go into that much detail about, you know, the game development decisions and things about, you know, all that sort of stuff. I would love to them for them to do one hinterland to do how they test their game, because <laughs> we all know we all get the bugs whenever they do an update. With there's always bugs, so it's, it'd be curious to know. Well, just what what testing have they actually got in place? Do they have to man just manually test it? Do they have any automated testing? Do they have beta testers in? Do they have testers? You know, actual actual testers who are employed by the company who set up. You know, automated test frameworks and continuous integration systems and all that. Do, do they have all that? <laughs> but then you could discuss the difficulties about testing a game that's released on multiple platforms. 
So, you know, they've got, what, Xbox, PC, Switch, well, not PC, let me, let me rephrase the PC thingy there, the PC encapsulates. Misty Falls, picnic area. <gasps> yeah, PCs like Windows, Mac and Linux. So you've got three different operating systems you've got to test on. Anywho, I'm getting distracted by talking technical stuff. We went to be looking, oh, look at that. That is happy snappy. Sort of happy snappy, if, if the snow wasn't there. It'd be super happy snappy. It's getting even foggier as we look at this waterfall. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be able to map it because I think there's a blizzard coming in. Oh dear. Uh, quick, can I map it from here? I think. Quick, go. Ah, oh, you cannot map in low visibility. Oh, what a pity. Uh, we'll, all right, we'll come back to that because there's a cave just over here. We'll... Yeah, it's blizzarding. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Pleasant Valley. <laughs> Great timing. As soon as we get to the waterfall... It gives us a blizzard. Your fingers feel numb. I know, mate. Your fingers feel numb because silly Blizz Blizzard Valley once again does it. D does it again. Blizzard Valley does it again. Now, uh, Ragged Hoodie, no. Uh, okay, look, we can loot stuff in a mini. I'll, I'll get tomato soup, sure. Get it. Okay. Bunnies? What are you doing, bunnies? Just, just get out of the blizzard. <laughs> Where's the cave? It's around here somewhere. Ah, oh, dear. Good old Blizzard Valley. Ah. Terrible place. Yeah, hypothermia risk, mate. The temperature plummeted. To think. We're going into a cave. You'll be fine now. <laughs> Blizzard Valley. Man, isn't it typical? As soon as we get to the thing we want to see, a blizzard starts. Well, I guess the blizzard could have started before we left the other cave, but at least we could have stayed in the other cave for a little while. Oh, dear. Typical, typical, typical. Well, we might find some loot, at least. Let's see if we can get some goodies in here. Oh, actually, just thinking about it again. Uh, flare. Uh, nah, nah, nah. Right, just had to turn down my headphones a little bit. Oh, there's a container there. There is stuff there. We'll go this way first. Uh, oh, there's a bedroll. Uh, plenty of coal that we don't need. Uh, what's in the bedroll? That'll come in handy. 77% what's in the bedroll, he says. What was the durability of the bedroll? <laughs> Flare, no. Fishing tackle, no. Wood, fireplace. Oh, is there... Let's go see if there's any charcoal, but I think we're good for charcoal. We're not going to do much mapping for a little bit. <laughs> Especially if blizzards come in. Stick, stick, stick. Ah, uh, dear. Yes, yes. Cool. Cool. Oh, yeah, because that one loops around to that other way. So we can go back that way. Whoop, don't hit your head, mate. Yes, so if Hinterland did, you know, a bit of an update and say, how do they test it? The difficulties of testing, you know, do they do full testing? Oh, hey, hatchet! <laughs> and look, waterfall! Hang on a minute. All right, hatchet, I could one thing this. at a time. We could use it, mate, definitely. This poor fella can't use it anymore. Tinder plug, I'll leave. Right, so. So. Sorry, I just had to turn down the, the sound again on my headphones. There is a waterfall here. Now, we're not counting the ones in the caves because we can't map them. <laughs> take that off, take that off, take that off. Strip, mate, strip. You're about to walk through a freezing cold waterfall. You're already wet anyway, by the looks of it, but... Uh, there you go, there you go, and your mucklocks. Okay. Woo! Yeah, so we're not going to map these. We're not... Woo! It's water. It is freezing water, mate. Um, yeah, because we can't... Never felt so cold in my life. We can't really map these ones, can we? So, uh, oh, Spelunker's Lantern. Oh, it's in here. Oh, cool. I keep getting distracted. Okay, so the that we normally find sort of Ash Canyon, between Ash Canyon and um, uh, Timberwolf, the, the cave. I've, that's where I normally find that one. Uh, Long Wolf Scarf. Uh, Hope nobody needs this anymore. 98%. We might need that, mate. <laughs> uh, oh, Snow Pants. Yes. Oh, more climbing socks, yes! Oh, this was definitely worth coming into this cave. And we've got a bit of a, a granola bar as well. Anything else back here? Oh, well, this was oh, this was a, a gold mine. <laughs> Not really a gold mine, but it, yeah, and glowy too. Oh, very good. Mm, okay, cool, hang on. Now, let's step back. We've sort of had half thoughts of everything. There is a waterfall, which will help you snappy. But we're sort of not counting the cave waterfalls. Should we? Now, maybe we should. Mate... Ready? My feet. Your feet. <laughs> it's not just your feet, I think, mate. Walking through that. 
Oh dear. Yes, should we count those? Uh, that is a good question. Let's put the toque on. Now, this, this scarf... It's certainly better than this, isn't it? So we'll wear you there, and we'll drop you there. So what else did we get? Now, the Mariners, I think we're having on the outside. You on the inside. Uh, you can go on the in... Oop, you there, mate. And you there. Oop, there. And we've got the driving gloves. <laughs> uh, ear wraps, nice. So yes, snow pants. What durability were they? 62%. Uh, okay, cool. Uh, these ones, which ones are better? Uh, 0.6. Where for you, and you can drop you. Uh, we didn't get, we've got, still missing some undies, aren't we? We need some more thermal undies. Uh, we'll wear you guys there, and we'll wear these guys there. Oh, they do need a bit of a repair, don't they? Okay, good. So we're, we're gearing up, uh, and the mucklucks, of course. Cool. Alright, we're looking pretty good. Pretty good. So, hmm. I mean, well, look, what, what we'll do, we can't map in here, because we're in a cave, but... We'll do, yeah, with spray painting indoors will not show on map. We kind of know that. <laughs> Which is why we sort of weren't counting the waterfalls inside caves. Now, where is our Spelunker's Lantern? This is fantastic. I'm glad we got this. I was really not expecting that in here, but that is very cool. Uh, and we will drop this guy there. Right, cool. So we've got some good... Oop, drop, drop. If I can click. <laughs> do we need to have a heavy hammer anymore now that we've got the hatchet? I'm going to drop the hammer as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. Well, anyway, we've marked it, so and we'll keep that in mind. Let me know what you think, actually. You can eat anything, or you'd be a package mate. Should we, should we do these internal ones? Because there's a few of these, I just don't know where they all are. <laughs> so, hmm. It's an option. It's an option. We could, we could also do the internal ones. It's just I'm not sure where they are. Yeah, that is the, that's the main problem with the internal ones. It's a couple in Hushed, River Valley. Beyond that, I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay, we'll think about it. We'll think about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, either in the comments or on the Discord channel. There's big glowy over here. Coal, coal, so much coal. Well, I might get two pieces because we might burn some up. We might have to wait for this blizzard to clear. I imagine the blizzard is still going. It's just after lunch, just looking at the sun. <laughs> I don't know how we look at the sun when we're in here. Do you remember? That when you, the, they used to obscure the sun position on that little symbol there. Uh, if it was like a cloudy day, or I think if you're in the cave, I don't know that it showed up if you're in a cave either. Can't remember that bit, but yeah. <laughs> and then they just changed it to say, ah, oh, we're not going to do that anymore. We'll just keep showing you the sun the whole time on that symbol. <laughs> or the moon, of course. Is it still blizzarding? It's going to still be blizzarding out there. I'm pretty sure. Double check, but um, yeah, a blizzard. We've only been in here what an hour or two, so yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, well, I'll do some clean ups and make us some torches and things, and uh, well, hopefully, this blizzard goes away in a hurry. So, is it still blizzarding? I finished off that sewing book, which was good, and had some dog food, which was not so good, but hey, it's, it, it feeds us. <laughs> you still blizzarding, Blizzard Valley? <sighs> what are you doing to us, Blizzard Valley? <laughs> I think we're just going to have to spend the night in here, aren't we? Yeah, I think so. Which I won't time lapse, because I don't think I've really got anything to do other than just sit here and sleep. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Alright, it's the next morning. I repaired up uh, snow pants a bit and some of our socks as well. So we're good. And I cleaned our revolver as well. So our revolver is now 100% and I dropped the uh, cleaning kit. Alright, Blizzard Valley. Next day, it's all good. Sort of so far. <laughs> it's rather chilly. It is early in the morning. 
Uh, we've got to go back to this waterfall and, and, and map our waterfall here. Uh, I'm just looking for any other goodies in yeah, this picnic ground here. Yeah, that's a pretty nice waterfall though. Pretty cool. Yeah, don't look clo too closely at some of the waterfalls. Let me just let me just say that. <laughs> Having sort of regularly taking screenshots now of waterfalls, you suddenly get an idea of just how similar some of the waterfalls are. <laughs> yeah, just just don't look too closely. Uh, Oh, did I even get that waterfall? Hang on. Might have to redo that. I got a bit closer. Is it going to show up as a waterfall on the map? I guess they're not all going to. And this one doesn't have a name. The Misty Creek. Uh, the campground does, but not the waterfall itself. But I guess it's Misty Waterfall. We'll call it Misty Waterfall. Are you going to appear on there? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, Misty Falls. Uh, can I now do our little symbol here? Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, good, good, right. <laughs> Here it is. There we go. That one's a better spot. Cool. And there we go. Okay, so there it is. Hmm. Okay, Misty Falls Picnic Area. There we go. Cool. Oh, mate, you're barely moving. What's going on? <laughs> Spraying risk. You're not that much over. This is why we're going to Ash Canyon so we can get the technical backpack. Oh, mate, you can, you're not you're not crouched or something. No. Okay. Oh, this is. Oh, the wind. <laughs> <laughs> the wind's barely blowing. It's a light breeze. <sighs> oh dear. Okay. All right. Not enough whinging about the wind. Well, no. Well, I think we can always forever whinge about the wind. <laughs> uh, dear. Is there anything else I can drop? Oh, you know what? I'm going to drop that book. It's too heavy. Do heavy. All right. We're going to climb a rope in a bit anyway. Um, still, we're still too heavy. Mate, uh, anyway. <laughs> We're just going into the into the wind for a bit. We're going to go across it, going this way. So maybe we'll be a bit better going this direction. <laughs> hey bunnies, good to see the blizzard's gone, isn't it? <laughs> the blizzard is gone, which is good. Oh, we're sort of still going into the windish, aren't we? Hmm. What else can we drop? I mean, we we we're all about the moving and the motion and stuff. Do I even need the? You know, I'm going to drop all the accelerant. Well, that might have been silly, but. We're wearing everything we need in the clo Yeah, okay, well, it's all this stuff, isn't it? 8.8, .8, oh, 2 litres of water. You know what? <laughs> if we ditch 1 litre of water... Here. There you go, mate. You dropped a litre of water. You're moving a little bit better now. We get shielded in by the rock here. We should even be able to move even better up. Hello, bunny. All cool. Yes, so should we count the internal waterfalls? Hmm, it is an option. It is an option. It might just be a little bit more exploration involved because I can't remember where they all are. Mm, yes, yes. Yeah, in terms of developer diaries though, game companies, I think there's another one I read pretty regularly which is the Project Zomboid. That's a great game. Good survival game. Uh, if you like your survivals like this. Uh, different sort of game but still very much survival. Um, then they, every fortnight they release one uh, and they sort of discuss the the updates they're, they're working on and the major things for the next update, which is very cool. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun playing that one. That's really, that is a good survival one. It's probably, you know, zombie games are a dime a dozen, let's face it. Um, but this, that really is a good sort of, good survival zombie game, I think. Yes. <laughs> yes, highly recommended. Uh, do I need, oh, actually we got, we used, whoop. Oh, I did that clicking on the wrong screen again. Uh, yes, we yes we do need this because we got attacked by a wolf. <laughs> so I do need some more old man's beard, wound dressing. Very good. Cool. How's our energy going down? Hmm. What's the time of day? It's barely. Can't barely, feel my feet. Day's barely started and we've already and energy's plummeting. <laughs> need to get fitter, mate. Oh dear. Mm, cool. Yes. So yes. Do you know? Are there any sort of game? Lot blog things that you follow. Is there any good examples you know of? Uh, more ammo. Cool. Coffee. Yes. Cool. Uh, nothing. Uh, nothing. 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 Yeah. Good. It's good to have the Factorio one back though. <laughs> That'll be great. Uh, I'll be hungry later. Eighty-seven percent. Wow. Oh, well, you're hungry now, mate. You eat them. You've just got your sprain risk. We might have that coffee before we. Oh, I've got a spare can. We might have the coffee before we go up the rope, too. Where's the sardines? Here we go. Eat, 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 eat. Good, 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 good. And then we go round, 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 round. 
to the prepper cache, see what's in the prepper cache. We might leave some stuff here. Oh, actually no, because we're probably never coming back in this direction. So if we're leaving stuff with them, we're ditching stuff. We're not just temp temporarily dropping it off. Preppers abandoned cache. Cache or cache? Oh, once again, another pronunciation thing. How do they pronounce it in Canada? <laughs> That's got to be the driver, isn't it? No, pronounce it as in Canada. Um, cache. Well, we, we say cache, but some people say cash. So, but, but what do Canadians say? Don't know any Canadians to find out. Do I? I do know some Canadians. I do know some Canadians. I just haven't spoken to them in ages. <laughs> From Montreal, in fact. Wonder if this um, is any good to eat. Got it, mate. We might have to drop some stuff, as we said, but. See, how did I? I'm not paying attention. I'm just looting without really thinking about it. Uh, another one of those. No, we'll leave. Oh, lock locker. Gauntlets. Give me gauntlets. Bullseye. <laughs> I could use this. It's not gauntlets, but it's bullseye. Uh, oh, um, hacksaw. It's 87%. Uh, cool. We've already got one, but. When are we going to the summit? Uh, not for a while, but we shall be going to the summit. Painkillers. We might drop those in a mini. And scrap metal. No. Uh, paint things. I wonder if I can drop oh, any container. of this gear. You will drop this some of this gear, mate. It's all cool. Uh, maple syrup I took. Bead, 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 bead. Another filing cabinet. Let's have a look. Um, what have we got this time? Uh, coffee, yes. Yes to the coffee. Uh, nothing. Oh, there's another lantern. We'll leave because we've got our spelunkers. I'll leave the charcoal. We don't need it at the moment. Uh, anything in the little secret spot? No. no. I don't think I've ever found anything in there. <laughs> Always look, though. Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. I think we got everything, didn't we? I better drop off some gear. Ah, we'll leave the dog food. We'll leave the dusty tomato soup. And I'm dropping matches. <laughs> dropping matches, dropping antibiotics, dropping painkillers, and dropping the hacksaw. We've got another hacksaw. Uh, yes, but we don't need it in a hurry. Because we won't be going to the summit for a while. But uh, Although we, we may find some other cargo containers uh, in a mini. Because we're about to go up Timberwolf. Oh, blue sky. Oh, Pleasant Valley. Of course Pleasant Valley does this. Just as we're about to leave. <laughs> Typical Pleasant Valley. Oh, dear. Maybe it's it's Pleasant Valley saying to us, Please don't leave me. I'm so lonely here in Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley is lonely in Pleasant Valley. Well, tough Pleasant Valley. You put a blizzard right when we wanted to map a waterfall. So we're leaving. <laughs> no, but we will be back. There is, yeah, there's quite a few. Quite a few waterfalls in the old Pleasant Valley. Uh, but it'll be a while before we return. Yes, we won't be coming back this direction. We'll be coming back a different way. Ooh. <laughs> Very mysterious. Well, not really. <laughs> That's not mysterious at all, is it? Ah, uh, yes, in due course, in due course. Oh, look, the sun's peeking behind that hill over there. That's not Timberwolf Mountain, it's just a hill. <laughs> well, it's more a mountain, isn't it? It's very mountainy. Mm, but uh, yes, we, we can't get up that one. No, and we're not climbing it. We're not going up Timberwolf either. We are going to do a little bit of exploring in Timberwolf, though. Uh, yeah, Timberwolf, I'm not entirely sure how many waterfalls it has. There's one, one waterfall that I know of, definitely. Um, but there's, there might be a couple more that I'm not sure about. We're going to go looking for one, like, now. Um, we're taking a little bit of a diversion from, we could just head straight to Ash Canyon, but we, I do want to take a little bit of a diversion to see if there's a waterfall on sort of the lower bit, which we'll get to. <laughs> we'll get to in a second if we can ever get into Timberwolf. There we go, leaving Blizzard Valley and into Timberwolf Mountain region. <laughs> Timberwolf Mountain region. Yeah, so, yeah, there's, there's a lake in Timberwolf Mountain, Crystal Lake. It's very nice. Uh, and there is a river that goes into the lake. There's definitely one waterfall that I know about, and it's named Eric's, Eric's Falls. Uh, we're not going to that uh, before we go to Ash, because it's up a bit. 
Uh, but there might be some more waterfalls on that river. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. So we're going to do a little bit of exploring in a bit of Timberwolf that I really, 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 really ever go to. Because there's not really any reason to. <laughs> Once again. Um, yeah, okay. Ah, there's the, there's Timberwolf. We can just see the, the tail section up there. In the old crash plane. I'd love to find the nose section one day. <laughs> There's no such thing. Well, it's certainly not anywhere accessible. The nose section. So we'll go up to the tail section one day, but not not yet. Yeah, so we're going to go... Oh, I hear the wind picking up in the background there. Uh, we're going to go... Where? Do we want to go up that way? So normally, we'd sort of go down here and go that way to the Mountaineer's Hut and to the lake. Uh, did I? I didn't spot something over there. Okay. Yeah, so it's sort of, but this whole bit sort of from here all across here on this lower level, I just never, never go this way because <laughs> there's nothing here. And when I did the faithful cartographer, the surveying all the named locations, there's nothing over here that's named either. So there's not really any point like going this way. <laughs> but given we're looking for waterfalls, and I'm not sure if there are or aren't waterfalls this direction, we'll go this direction. So you go that way. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go have a squeeze. Let's see what we can find. We're doing a bit of exploring, which is very cool. We might find something cool. Finding a very steep bit of snow. I'm assuming I can get up here. <laughs> Don't break anything, mate. Don't sprain your ankle. Just go nice and straight and steady. Up you go. Very good. Yeah, so um, keep your eyes peeled. For any waterfalls? Yeah, yeah, very rarely come this way. So we might get a surprise waterfall today, uh, which is good. Where are we doing for time? Oh, oh. No, that doesn't matter. <laughs> we might go a little bit longer today. Uh, let's see if we can get some surprise waterfalls. Yeah, because this is the boundary here. And as we've seen, there's often waterfalls, you know, coming from the cliffs of the boundary of the regions. Uh, so we'll go that way in a mini. I just, we'll just go over here so we can have a bit of a, a view. It's up there, too. Huh. There's all these places. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Can you go for a jog, mate? How's your energy? Oh, it's not wonderful. Yeah, you had to climb a rope. Oh, we can always have that coffee uh, in a mini. Let's have a little bit of a, a view from up here. Can we have a bit of a view from here? A little bit of a view, sort of. Okay. Yeah, so the river's... Oh, it's kind of over there somewhere, isn't it? Okay. I uh, can't see anything. I see a few uh, oak trees. No, no signs of waterfalls. Okay, cool. We'll go back around here. And just in case, you know, just in case there's a waterfall, you know, coming down the cliffs or something that joins onto the river that we just don't know about. Um, have a, have a listen. It'd be good if the wind would die down because then, you know, the, the birdies that are that like to hang around the bodies might be too windy for those. So they won't give us a bit of a secret signal about a secret body. <laughs> a secret body? Uh, dear. Oh yeah, we're sort of going down into a bit of a dip here. So maybe no waterfalls. Uh, around this area. Sprain risk, mate. Oh, you're getting a bit tired. Where's that coffee? You know what, mate? Have a have a cuppa. An ice, a nice iced coffee. <laughs> Heal up that sprain risk, that's the way. Very good. Bit of burdock thingy me jiggy up here. Mm, yeah, haven't really messed much with the with the new cooking stuff still. <laughs> and the new plant, a burdock root. No, we're gonna leave the burdock root. Um where's it go? See, it dips down there. Sort of up here, we'll go around, we'll follow the wall a bit here until we hit where the river sort of joins. I assume it's a one river, maybe it's two rivers. Oh, <laughs> oh there's a wolf up there. We can just see him in the distance. Let's get. Oh, is the torch going to get blown out? Did make us some torches as well. We'll see. Let's see. Oh, we might be a bit sheltered down here. Maybe not quite windy enough to blow out the torch. Probably blow it out just as the wolf comes over. <laughs> wolf, you still around? Where'd you go? Can't see him. Maybe you wandered over the other side of that little hill there. Wolf? 
Oh, he's howling. Okay, maybe we can... Maybe we can stay out of range or something. Wolf? Okay, anyway. Keep waiting. No, okay. <laughs> no, don't run. We haven't got enough energy. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Yeah, right. That, that lasted longer than I thought. Okay, yeah, right. River, river, river. So is there no waterfall? At this part of the river. Oh, is it frozen? Oh, oh there's a bear. Oh, oh, yeah. I did know about the bear that sometimes is around here. And there's another little arch over there, but I don't think the arch over there is actually named. Bear, are you doing that thing where you're... No, he's not turning around. He turned around once, but he's not turning around again. Okay, the bear's a bit of a issue. <laughs> okay, so there's no waterfall here. Well, there's sort of a frozen one. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, because the river sort of goes up there. Alright, well this... This doesn't count, does it? Because it's... We sort of said it's, they've got to be flowing waterfalls. Ah, I'm going to get closer. It's not named or anything. No, no, no. Okay. Interesting. Ah, there you go. Right. Well, huh. You learn something new every day. Oh, happy snappy it, but we just won't mark it because there's nothing to mark. Well, should we mark it with a... Oh, we won't count it, but what we'll do, we'll, we'll mark it with a different symbol. Uh... Like a search, the search symbol, first aid. All right, that would that'll do. <laughs> that means no. That means it's a waterfall, but it's frozen, so it doesn't count. There you go. Do we want a map? Is the bear going to come and eat us if I do map it anyway? Just to so I get bearings and things. Why not? Can I see the bear coming to eat us. Good. Okay. Cool. Oh, there you go. Now oh, there is a rope over there. I don't think I've ever climbed that one. Oh, no. One day. Bear, are you still around? I was going to go up there, but I don't know if the bear was going up there. We'll actually, no, we'll just follow the, we'll follow the river. Yeah, that's a better idea. <laughs> so we'll get down to the, um, we'll get down to the lake and get to the mountaineers hut. Bear, are you around, mate? Where'd you go? He's gone up there. Oh, is he gone? Oh. I'm seeing a, I'm seeing a dot, like through there. Is that dot a bear? Is that a stump or something? Is the bear going for a walk on the creek as well? Can't feel my hands. Yeah, no, it's a bit chilly, mate. I know. That might be the bear. It's a bit hard. There's a dot. <laughs> There's a dot under that arch, and it might be the bear going down the creek as well, because the creek might have. It might have some more waterfalls. Oh, there is the bear over there. There's a wolf over there. And there's, there is the bear. I think that is the bear under the arch. All right, we'll, we'll sort of skirt it. We'll skirt it around this way. Can I skirt around this way? I don't know. <laughs> We're exploring. Yeah, never, never really come here. This bit. I mean, we haven't spotted anything you'd ever... You'd need to come here for. There's no, like, cargo containers. Or anything. I mean, there's some acorns if you wanted some acorns, and the burdock over there, and a rope <laughs> if you needed any of those things. Um, yeah. Oh, maybe don't run, mate. Your energy's a bit low. You can go up there. Should we go up there? I don't think there's anything up there, but probably see the bear from up there. Oh, we could have a bit of a view of the creek from up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll duck up here. At least then we can see, look at the creek or the river. Uh, and see if there's any other bits of interest for us in terms of waterfalls. Even if it's just a little, little bit of flowy waterfall. Although, given the oh, sprain risk. Oh, yeah, right, yeah, because, yeah, energy stuff. Uh, okay, oh, there's the bear. There's the bear. Right, he's uh, just through there. Right, so the creek, the river, Crystal Lake, over there. Okay, so there's definitely no other waterfalls that way. Do know that. So can we get down safely? <laughs> Down to the creek, which is just down there. The bears, he's wandered off the creek. Or the river. Oh, we can sort of we can sort of go. There's cargo containers over there, but we're we're not we're not after loot. Okay. Right. So yeah, so bear right up there. There's a wolf just over there before. The landing gear, I think, is that it way through there where we came in over there? Right, getting our bearings. Yeah, okay. 
getting our bearings. <laughs> okay, that's terrible. All right, it's not funny at all, is it? <laughs> okay, it's a little bit funny. A good dad joke, that one. Oh dear. To all you dads out there, there you go. There's a good dad joke. Getting our bearings. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Careful, careful. Yeah, okay, all right. Well, mm. so yeah, I had wondered if that one was a waterfall, but don't count, don't count. Well, we could always note down. We should be writing down in our notes, actually, how many waterfalls there are in each region. Um, and the wind's gone. It's got all still and calm again. There's some birds over there, up there, way up there. Okay, yeah, cool. Oh, there's wolves down here. Good, I'm glad the wind's gone because we're going to need to light a torch. So, yes. Hmm, cool. Well, yes. No waterfall there where I had half thought of there would be one. Well, there was one, but it froze. Yes. <laughs> Alright, we'll head to the Mountaineers hut and we'll call it there. Um, so, I guess if that's Crystal Lake, is this Crystal River? <laughs> In fact, I better reload that, mate. The, the old wolves are probably hungry. So, we may, we may need to take a few shots. In fact, let's let's do this. Let's get a little be a little bit more smarter about this. All right, light it now. <laughs> that, those wolves, they're they're looking. Oh, that one. Oh yes. Are you howling? What are you doing? Oh, here he comes. Right. <laughs> Crystal Lake. Oh, the auto walk. Uh, Crystal Lake. All right, mate. Shoo, shoo. Shoo! <laughs> Gave him a chance, but he was too slow. Oop, there we go. Oh dear, off he goes. Good, good. One wolf gone. Oh dear, what a what a beautiful day. Look at this. This is stunning. Oh, temperatures. Our temperature is going up. Look at that. <laughs> we have got some good clothing items, but overall we're not wonderful, but... Oh, what a day. Ah, this is lovely. Deep breath, oh, I see a wolf. Oh, the wolf's going after the deer. It's pretty hard to see, but... Oh, run away, deer! And oh, the deer's... Oh, so the deer runs through the bunnies, so that the wolf will go after the bunnies. Oh, survival of the fittest. <laughs> clever, clever deer. Clever deer. Uh, anything in these these ones? I don't know if I've ever found anything in here. Or oh, well, there you go. It's a container. Ah, oh, weird. Nothing. Oh. <laughs> Is there anything on the pier here? Sometimes there's matches on these piers. I don't, I don't know about this one specifically. Although we don't need matches. We've been ditching matches. And there's nothing. Okay. Oh, mate, your torch is about to go out. Ah. Rah. It's a very aggressive torch thrower. Rah. <laughs> wasn't even that good a throw, mate. If you're going to make a noise like that, you should, could at least put your back into it a bit more and throw it a bit further. Mountaineers hut. Where is it? There it is. It's coming up. Good. We'll get the label. All right. Very cool. What's the time of day? Oh, it's just after lunch. Uh, we'll loot in the next episode. So I will do a little uh, snooze for an hour so it saves it for us. And then next time we will continue on uh, straight to Ash Canyon. Because there's going to be quite a few there. And once again in Ash, I'm not sure where they all are. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.